is ABC 15 News. It's kind of hard to save up money when you're spending every last penny every month. Is someone you know addicted to shopping when a sale becomes a sickness? Okay, when you say the word shopaholic, chances are you can think of somebody in your life who fits this description. But did you know being a shopaholic could be a serious and severe medical condition? ABC 15, Stephanie Hockridge, of course, wanted to get to the bottom of, <laughs> of this course. one. We wanted to know as well. What did you find out? I found out I'm not a shopaholic. Okay. So that's good news. Yeah. Yeah. But when I first heard about oniomania, I got a bit nervous because it's a medical uh, diagnosis for someone who's actually addicted to shopping. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Many of us, we love to shop and shopping online. It's available 24-7 but there are warning signs and some red flags that you need to look out for in case you are concerned about someone you know and love. I mean, if there's any empty space in my closet, I feel like I need to go shopping. And how many designer expensive purses do you have? Um, at least 20, maybe more. So, <laughs> I don't know, it just makes me really happy that I have so much stuff in my closet. Is that weird? <laughs> Kristen admits she's a shopaholic. And it's nice to have them in case I ever need a pair of zebra shoes, but because everyone needs a pair of zebra shoes. Yeah, definitely. But where do you draw the line between someone who simply loves to shop and someone who's addicted? The medical diagnosis is oniomania, and Scottsdale psychiatrist Dr. Michael Yuzinski says it can be a severe medical issue. Because if they're not budget-minded, this stuff can lead to severe debt, and severe debt can lead to severe depression, and when their coping skill is shopping, they're depressed and broke, then that leads to a whole slew of problematic behaviors. Lucky for Kristen. How much did you spend on it? I think it was maybe around like a thousand. Yazinski says she isn't a problematic shopper, and here's why. She doesn't overspend her budget. She can go without the shopping and not have any problems. Yazinski says many times it's not necessarily the shopping that's the issue, but other underlying problems that trigger it, like depression and bipolar disorder. A lack of emotional attachment to parents or loved ones. From a small age, they had to turn to, like, objects to get some emotion and feeling and love in their life. As for Kristen, there's no reason to be concerned. I saved up for it. I'd been really wanting a Louis Vuitton. Yazinski says that's pretty normal behavior for someone her age. So all joking aside, it is important to note that oniomania can be a gateway addiction, especially if financial problems get bad, because people can replace their shopping high with something relatively cheaper like alcohol or drugs. And by the way, it is treatable with therapy and then possibly medication if you need that. All right. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>